Hi everyone, today I want to talk about contouring. It's something I have quite a strong opinion on and I feel like I just wanted to add my video to the collection that was already up there on YouTube. Hello, just me interrupting me here. Just wanted to apologise for the hissing sound during this video. As you know, I have a new microphone. I have now figured out a way to stop the hissing. Apologies. Because when I type in contouring on YouTube, there's definitely a theme with the sort of videos that come up. And if you don't know what contouring is, it's a makeup technique to change the shape of your face. It uses shadows and light to create depth where there would have just been a flat canvas before. Now you've probably seen those photos where there's brown and white marks all over the face, the Kim Kardashian style contouring. I think it's incredible. It's a makeup artist technique and there are some incredible makeup artists on YouTube that are doing amazing things. It's like being an artist, like being a painter, painting this face and creating different shapes where there weren't before, changing the shape of your nose. I really do think it's an amazing skill. But because of how YouTube is and it's so global and open to anyone, I worry that the lines blur and that normal everyday girls, young 15 year olds, but also mums and people just learning how to do their makeup are feeling like that's what they have to do with their makeup and you really don't. I think that sort of contouring for an everyday person that isn't on the stage or isn't on TV or isn't in like musical theatre, I, I really don't think that you need to do it and if anything I think it makes it look like you're wearing too much makeup. When you see that sort of contouring on camera it looks incredible but in real life you're really wearing layers and layers of concealer and cream and powders and it's I personally think it's a bit too much. But I feel like there aren't that many videos that just show contouring for an everyday girl, not on for the theatre or for cameras or for TV. So I wanted to show you guys the products I like to use for contouring and how I do it because I don't ever do that jewellery thing where you put brown and white all over your face. You've probably seen me contouring in some of my makeup videos but I thought I'd do like one whole video on it just explaining. So contouring is great if you want to change the shape of your face slightly. If you have a slightly rounder face you can make it a bit more chiselled or for me I just like to use it to add some kind of warmth and dimension to my face. I don't like to change the shape of my nose. I don't like my nose, but I think you'll just kind of have what you're given. It's nice that makeup can allow you to change things if you want it to, but personally, I prefer people to just know how I look so they're not disappointed when they see me with no makeup on. To do your contour, you don't actually have to use a contour product. I often just use bronzer. You can use a normal bronzer. This is my solar powder from Soap and Glory, and this isn't even matte. It's just a normal bronzer. It's got a bit of shimmer. One of the sides is matte, one's shimmer. And I can sometimes just like mix these together with a big fluffy brush. And the way I apply my bronzer is in a three shape. So obviously you can just apply a bronzer all over, but if you want more of a shape to your face, I like to apply it in a three. So from the temples down to under my cheekbones and then down to my chin. So the contour lines are basically where bones in your face, you can feel they go in. So there's like under your eye, under your cheeks. So if you feel with your brush, it's kind of just there under your cheekbone. And that, that's really where I just kind of apply my bronzer. And if you want to practice contouring with a bronzer, but you want it to look more like a contour, then just try using a matte bronzer. This one from Too Faced is the chocolate bronzer in the medium deep shade, so it's slightly darker. Um, it's slightly orangey one, but find one that suits your skin tone. Yeah, just use a matte bronzer. You can use any brush, really. If you're a little bit nervous, use one that's slightly bigger. If you want something that's a bit more defined, you can use a smaller brush. The Charlotte Tilbury um, Powder and Sculpt, it's called. That's really nice because it's slightly pointed, so you can really get it into your cheekbones. Um, this is just a small one from MAC. Um, I'm not sure what number it is. 110, I think. Or this one is the contour brush from Real Techniques, but I find this is better for cream products. Powder bronzers, powder contours, I think are definitely much easier to use. I tend to just stick with those, although I do have one cream one that I will talk you through in a minute. Using bronzers just to shape your face are a really nice, easy, everyday way to contour. That's what I do most days, and I think it looks really natural and really pretty, and it does the job. If you do want a slightly more intense contour, maybe you're going out in the evening and you want more of like a contoured look or maybe you make YouTube videos too and it's nice sometimes on camera to contour because it just looks better on camera. I have three products that I would recommend they are all a little bit different 
The first one is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's her Film Style Bronze and Glow. This is probably my favourite product for contouring. It's a bronzer and highlighter. The bronzer isn't matte, it's slightly shimmery, so it's not too intense, it's really easy to use, but you can't really see the shimmer, so it's very subtle. And the highlight is just gorgeous. I talk about this product all the time. This contour is somewhere between a bronzer and a traditional contour because Usually contour shades are quite grey, which if you are a makeup artist and you can work with it very easily, then it's great. But if you're just a normal everyday girl, I find the grey contours can make you look a little bit dead if you overdo it. And it's very hard not to overdo it. So it's much more natural to stick to a bronzy shade. But this one's good because it's not too orange. They're very buttery and creamy and easy to blend. So this is definitely my favourite choice. I apply the bronzer kind of temples, under my cheekbones, under my chin, and then the highlighter just on the tops of my cheekbones and sometimes down the centre of my nose. On the other scale of contour powders is the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder, I think it's called, in medium. And this is the one I was talking about. It's a very kind of grey tone contour. And a lot of people like to use this because it is really good, but it has a very stony grey colour to it. So as I said, I think it can make you a little bit dead, and unless you're very good at makeup, it's quite hard to get away with this. I often see people use it and just think it, it just doesn't look natural. On camera it looks great, but in real life it just doesn't look very natural. So I use this one when I'm filming sometimes, occasionally on a night out, but I don't really use it that often anymore. This one is quite new to me and it's kind of a mix of the both. It's from Smashbox and it's their contour palette. It just has three shades in it. I find the the big contour palettes, like the Anastasia one, I, I never got that because for me that is so overwhelming. There's so many shades that wouldn't work for me, there's just no point. Those sort of things are meant for makeup artists or, or makeup enthusiast, but a lot of the shades wouldn't suit my skin tone, so I don't really see the point of having a huge palette. This one just has three. It's got a slight kind of matte yellowy highlight. Matte highlights I don't love as much, but this one you can use... Um, just under your eyebrow or the tops of your cheekbones if you like. But I get most use out of these two shades. So there's a bronzer which is like a matte bronzer, it's a bit like the Too Faced one. And there's a contour shade which is slightly more grey taupe colour. So you have a choice of both depending if you want something a bit more intense or a bit more natural. And I actually like to mix them both together. The bronzer's a little bit small to kind of swirl your brush in. But it also is really good if you do want to kind of contour your nose or do any of that. It's, it's a nice small palette so you can use a little eyeshadow brush to do that. I think this is such a good little palette and I get use out of all the shades. And it's a nice one if you're not sure if you want to go the whole bronzer route or contour route. You kind of have both shades there to pick from. Occasionally I do use cream bronzers. Chanel has a cream bronzer stick and sometimes I draw that on and blend it out. But I find that it takes up so much time and effort that's just a bit unnecessary. You can just use a normal powder bronzer. And this I have from Illamasqua which is their cream pigment in hollow. And I haven't used this for ages but when I first got it I, I used it. And it's good if you have quite pale skin because it's quite a pale contour shade. But again it's cream. I find cream products take a lot more effort, a lot more blending. I use them with the Real Techniques contour brush, but it's you're there for quite a while. And I mean, if you really enjoy doing your makeup, then it can be quite fun. But for the everyday gal, I don't think it's the best option. So the point of this video is to let you know that you really don't need to draw brown and white stripes all over your face to look beautiful. I think it can get a little bit ridiculous. Work with the shape of the face that you have. Use natural enhancing products just to shape your face slightly, add a bit of warmth, add a bit of glow where you like. And keep watching those amazing contouring videos. I think they are incredible. Just don't think you need to do it on yourself every day. Those are my top picks for contouring and I hope you guys got some good recommendations from there. Let me know what you think about this whole contouring thing. Have you ever actually tried it out yourself? I have and I look ridiculous. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!